The call for stricter gun control reached all the way to the cabinet room at the White House yesterday. Here to talk about the bipartisan meeting that went on there, Alana Rocha from the Texas Tribune. Good morning. Thanks for being with us. Good morning. So this was kind of remarkable because here we saw a Republican president, which had a lot of money come in from the NRA during his campaign, basically saying he wanted some sort of broad bill on gun control. But the question is, what are the chances that something like this might actually happen? You know, there is a lot of motivation two weeks out from that deadly shooting in Florida. You know, we have several uh, walkouts and different marches planned that the students do uh, around the nation in response. So that momentum has definitely stayed around. Uh, our senior senator, uh, John Cornyn, seated right next to the president in that meeting, said, you know, we can't do nothing. We have to act. Um, and so there is some thought, uh, a lot of thought, in Washington saying that, you know, a narrow piece of legislation with broad bipartisan support is the best chance of getting anything passed. But uh, all the ideas thrown around, the president wants them all in one great big bill. Uh, so he, he, as we've seen, has had a tendency to kind of play to the room, whichever room he is in. Yeah. How, can Republicans find a workable way with what he said yesterday? You know, it's really unclear. If you look at uh, in January, he had a similar meeting regarding immigration and DACA and addressing the Dreamers and said, any compromise you get to me, I'll sign. Well, a few days go by, they get a compromise to him and he rejects it. So uh, it's really not clear, um, mm -hmm. you know, where he'll be when they actually get a bill before him. Now, I want to shift gears to focusing here on Texas. We've got the primaries coming up, yep. and we're now seeing how some of the top leaders in the state are spending their campaign money. What what stuck out to you in that? Uh, well, you know, the governor, lieutenant governor, and uh, outgoing House Speaker are all spending uh, six figures uh, to support uh, incumbents they want to see back in the legislature, whether that be in the House or Senate. We know that the governor has publicly backed uh, some challengers for sitting uh, House members of his own party. Uh, and in a political twist, uh, Speaker Strauss has actually uh, spent quite a bit of money backing uh, those incumbents. So hmm. you have the, the leaders there yeah. working against each other. Um, last week you had mentioned that more Democrats had been turning out yep. in the early voting. Is that still the case? Yes. Here in Travis County, you have more uh, than double turning out than uh, in the previous midterm. Uh, Harris County seeing uh, three times as many Democrats. Republicans are seeing some increases, but they're modest compared to Democrats. And I believe Bear County is the only uh, county where Republicans are actually seeing a uh, decline from the turnout uh, in the previous midterm. And also Hispanic votes. Democrats have historically counted on that. What has been the turnout there? Well, um, you know, our demographics uh, show the fact that Yes, everybody, you know, banks on the changing demographics of the state, but the truth is a third of the Hispanic uh, population here in the state is not yet of voting age. So mm -hmm. kind of wait for that. Uh, those 65 and older are the ones who turn out and, you know, they argue that we're not a blue state, red state, we're a non-voting state. And the number of, you know, 65 and older just aren't as many. So what are Republicans doing, though, to counter this kind of <laughs> Democrat surge, if you would, in voters? Well, you saw the president tweet this week uh, in support of the Republicans uh, on the ballot for re-election, trying to gin up that support uh, and that turnout. Quickly, Texas Tribune has a contest going on to pick Tuesday night's winners ahead of time. Yeah. How does this work? What Political pick them. You go to our website and you just fill out the form. We've identified 15 contested races, uh, you know, a point for each one you get right, and we'll have a winner, uh, tickets to our Tribune Festival and a private tour of the LBJ Library. And remember, it's not who you want to win, it's who you think is going to win exactly. is what you're picking. Alana right. Rocha, thank you very much. We thank appreciate you. it.